Hi, and welcome to Are You Ready for Life? My name is Jude Avellino. I'm an attorney who practices law in New York and New Jersey. I have a master's in law and taxation from Georgetown, and I have over 20 years of experience. And in my 20 plus years, I've guided clients through good times, bad times, and the unexpected times. The common thread I've seen in all of these clients who have successfully navigated these situations is that they had a plan. Now, we all watch news shows and there's people on TV talking about the stock market and trying to help you make money, but there's just not enough people who talk about how to help you protect your money and how to protect your most valuable asset, your family. Throughout this series, I'm going to introduce you to my trusted friends and colleagues to have an open and frank discussion and help educate you on pertinent topics to prepare you for life. Today's discussion revolves around the three key professionals I feel you should have in your life. A lawyer, a wealth advisor, and a life insurance specialist. You should seek guidance from them and together create a plan to protect your most important asset, your family. I'd like to introduce you to our first guest, a friend and colleague, Tim Erde. Tim is a managing partner of Harbor Bridge Wealth Management Advisors, which is affiliated with Wells Fargo and Summit, New Jersey. Tim works with private families to help simplify their financial lives. He collaborates with a variety of professional resources like myself, an attorney, CPAs, philanthropy advisors, and family offices. He completed graduate work at Harvard Business School and has been working in the financial and investment space for 22 years. Outside of the office, Tim has served on the boards of both national and local organizations, including the Overlook Foundation, alongside myself in Summit, New Jersey. Welcome, Tim. Thank you, Jude. Our, our other guest is Alex Bierce. Alex is a certified financial planner at Northwestern Mutual. He has an undergraduate degree from Vanderbilt and a law degree from Syracuse University. For today's discussion, Alex is our key player in the life insurance space. We've worked together on many clients with estate planning and life insurance needs. Alex is a supporter of Circle of Care, which supports children with cancer and their families with direct, practical, emotional, and financial support. And along with Tim and I, is a proud resident of Summit, New Jersey. Welcome to you both, and thank you for being here. Uh, we have many clients that overlap, uh, so I'm really glad we're gonna have this opportunity to sit down together and uh, sort of have a discussion about our knowledge and experience and, and how to help educate our audience. So let's get right into it. Tim, I'm going to ask you, you have a client who comes in with a job, some money, and a family. Why do they need a financial plan? You know, it's a great question, Jude. Um, I think a lot like a weekend to-do list. I I've learned in a 22-year career that what gets planned gets done, uh, and other stuff may in fact be overlooked. I think there's, there's an adage that, that is spoken quite often, which is that most people spend more time in any given year planning vacations than they do planning their own lives. So, you know, in that context, I think it's pretty easy to point to the fact that there are so many benefits just from sitting down and taking some time to put together a comprehensive plan. Uh, first off, really is to get organized, all right? It really is important to speak with somebody like myself, Alex, you, Jude, uh, to kind of put the pieces together and make sure that they're working in a manner that actually will help you achieve your goal, okay? Um, I think it's also Im important to really look and be cognizant of the fact that there are a lot of risks that exist not only in life but in markets that need to be uh, paid attention to, all right? 2017 as an example. We've got one of the largest years of political discourse we've ever been through. Uh, markets make new highs every day, every week, every month. And I think there is a, a sense of complacency out there that people think everything is just fine. And I think that's really why it is important to spend the time to put that plan together. Um, you know, lastly, I think is, is the human side. You know, when you're engaging a professional like us, uh, it really is comforting, I think, for most people individually or families to know that they can call for any little thing, okay? Uh, it's always good to have a second set of eyes on whatever it is you're talking about. And I think it's very important to, you know, really get a, a professional opinion to make sure that you don't make a mistake early, all right? Um, 
So you mean to tell me we shouldn't just spend money indiscriminately and hope to have enough money for college for our children and a savings no, at the end of the day? No, it's, it's, uh, it, it does seem, seem easy to think that way, but uh, money unfortunately doesn't come with instructions. And in, in this business, I think one of the, one of the hardest thing to realize is that if you don't spend the time on the front and if you don't in fact plan appropriately at the beginning, uh, it can have a profound negative impact on all of the later life goals in the next chapter in your life. When it doesn't just mean retirement, okay? It could be college education planning, it could be charitable intents. Uh, but I think mostly, you know, you're talking about what are you, what are you planning for relative to the legacy of your own family and, and what are you gonna teach your children? So it, it, it can't be stated enough that it's so important to spend a little bit of time up front to, uh, to get something comprehensive written down and, and not just put it in a drawer. Okay, but you have to check in with somebody like you or me or Alex on a regular basis. You got to make sure that everything is still relevant. And, and that's why, again, it's, you, just, you, you can't, you can't uh, put enough value on, on the idea of having a plan in place. Great. And Alex, I feel like everyone knows they need life insurance, but I'm just not sure everyone understands why they need it. So can you help our viewers and explain why does someone need life insurance? Right. Great question. Everyone, almost everyone, has some form of life insurance at their employer. Generally, it's a multiple of their base salary. But is that enough to cover the mortgage, cover the legacy for kids' education, or to supplement a spouse's income to just really maintain? So whenever people owe someone, like a bank or a creditor or a business partner, or they love someone like a spouse or a family, it's very important to make sure people have the right amount and right type of insurance. There's over a thousand different companies that offer life insurance. I would not go with all of them, but there's really an importance to having an advisor, whether it's Tim or myself or someone else, guide an individual through the process to make sure that they're getting the best product for themselves and for their family. And you know, uh, to add on to that, you talked about employer life insurance. What I try to tell my clients is you have a job, and you have employer life insurance or employee life insurance, and God forbid you have a heart arrhythmia and you don't have a job anymore for whatever reason, you're now uninsurable. Um, would you agree that although work life insurance is of course important, that it's important to have insurance outside of that as well? It is so much more important to have it outside of work and often for healthy individuals, it's much cheaper to own life insurance outside of their employer because they're individually underwritten. And because most people won't retire from their current employer, we don't know who the next employer is gonna be or if they start their own business or own venture, they might not be able to get anything if they do wake up with that heart murmur or wake up with something else not ideal. And I'll, I'll give you a layup question here. Um, when are premiums more expensive, when you're 40 years old or 50 years old? 50, very easy. <laughs> Just view it as our medical files only get bigger as we get older. But every year we get older, regardless. And the actuaries know that, and every single time we have a birthday, price goes up. So buying in at 35 is so much more attractive than buying in at 45 or 55 or 75. But we're here to help regardless of the age. Great. Um, to add on on the, on the law side, uh, everyone, in my opinion, and I think because we all know each other, we share the same opinion, needs an estate plan. But Estate plans are not only for the uber wealthy, um, they're for everyone. And what makes up a basic estate plan? We have a will, which names a personal representative of your estate and names a guardian for the children. If you have minor children, we wanna make sure that there's a trust in the will because minor children cannot take anything under the will. So we need a trust built into the will. If you don't have a trust under the will, the court will appoint a GAL or guardian ad litem and now a stranger is gonna be managing that child or children's money. Nobody wants that. We need to make sure our clients have powers of attorney, which will give somebody the right to act on uh, the client's behalf for legal and financial matters if they can't, and a living will, which states end of life wishes. And Alex, I think you'll agree if you have a life insurance policy of significant value, a million or two million or more, you really should consider a life insurance trust. Um, we want to make sure that our clients 
title accounts properly, that they don't just throw their parent on the account uh, for convenience purposes, because once our client passes away, it then becomes the parent's account. And that could create problems. Um, and beneficiary forms. Please make sure that when you sit down with someone like Alex and someone like Tim, you review beneficiary forms. Uh, beneficiary forms govern assets outside of the will, like life insurance and retirement accounts. Sometimes those are blank. Blank is not good. Sometimes they forget a child. Uh, and sometimes uh, they have the wrong people in there. Uh, I've had clients come into my office naming their parents as beneficiaries of their life insurance policy, forget to change it, and then guess what? The surviving spouse doesn't get the life insurance proceeds. The parents do. So uh, we talked about why you need a financial plan and why you need life insurance and an estate plan. So now my next question, in the age of the internet, why does someone need a real life Tim Erde to guide them through their finances instead of the internet? Well, I think, uh, I think depending on the demographic you're talking about, when you're a young family, you simply don't have time. There's a lot of risks that you're not going to think of, okay, and much in the same way that if you were going on a deep sea fishing trip, you'd want to hire a guide the first time. The, the importance of the decisions that are made early on in doing something like this oftentimes is, is not something that you can check a box on a computer. You need to sit down with multiple people at the table. An idea is going to be spurred, and through that collaborative process, there is going to be a conversation that's going to be had perhaps that you didn't think of on your own. Um, you know, at, at the end of the day, again, if you are making decisions early on, that are the wrong decisions, or you make an error. They are things that aren't fixed easily at 60 or 70 or 80, year olds, 80 years old, okay? They're not things that can be uh, easily solved and rectified, you know, if somebody is in fact in the hospital. So it, it really is critical uh, to look at the, you know, the long-term view of this to take, you know, take those opportunities to spend some time up front. Um, you know, and at the end of the day, retirement is supposed to be a time to relax. Okay, when you have young kids, it's supposed to be a time that you can enjoy yourself and the kids. Uh, and, and by leaning on professionals, by leaning on someone who else is going to worry about these types of things, it really does give you a chance to enjoy your own life and know that, that bases are covered. Great. Alex, I'm sure you'll agree this is about a relationship. Um, what I try to tell my clients is this isn't a transaction. You shouldn't put your will in a safe, meet with a financial planner once, uh, meet with your life insurance agent once and never think about it again. It's a relationship. Every situation is unique. How your life is now is going to be different in 10 years and hopefully better, but different. Tax laws will be different. Uh, we hope the kids turn out to be uh, upstanding citizens. We hope they marry people who are upstanding citizens. Uh, it's about a relationship. Um, and I know in terms of the internet versus me, if there's a family emergency and it's three o'clock in the morning, the internet's not going to go to the hospital, but we will. Um, thank you very much, Tim and Alex, for taking the time uh, to be with us today. You give us a lot of great information. Um, I think the overarching theme here is the time to plan is now. Uh, don't wait. Um, life is... Life can be short. Life is certainly unpredictable. Um, and our lives are organic. Wills, financial plans, and life insurance should be as well. Review them periodically. Don't mentally check the box that you did this and then never think about it again. And strategize and consult with these three professionals. My hope after watching this show today is that you can look yourself in the mirror and confidently answer this question. Are you ready for life?